Hello boys and girls and welcome to my preview of Arsenal against Chelsea on Wednesday night. It's the first of three games against Chelsea over the next couple of weeks. We've got to play them twice as well in the Carabao Cup semi-final. But right now it's Premier League action. We need to pick up a win. It is very, very simple. If we was away from home, I'd actually be worried about this game because our away record is dreadful. At home though, apart from the opening 10 minutes where we threw it away against Manchester United and lost, we're actually unbeaten at the Emirates. So this is the kind of game where we'll probably turn up, end up winning. Um, and some fans will turn around and think, you know what, new year, new start, here we go again. No, it's just one of those games during the course of a season. We end up winning some of these games. People get a bit hyped, but the reality is we're still poor. Chelsea are currently seven points clear of us. They're not having a great season. Um, they're miles behind Man City, but then everyone else is. They're not going to retain the league title. Um, so, you know, it's about pride in this game. London pride and who picks up the three points. I actually do think there'll be a winner in this game. It won't be a draw. Um, and I'm hoping for a bit of an entertaining, um, you know, sort of game like the Liverpool, like the Manchester United game. But hopefully, unlike those two, you know, we've had a loss and a draw in them. We can actually pick up three points for this game. In terms of the 1-11, to it's going to be really, really difficult to predict because we have actually got injuries. Really bad injuries in defence. Um, so, <laughs> I hope the likes of El Nenny doesn't get shoved in there, that's for sure. But with that said... Let's get into that starting lineup. In goal, we're going to go with Petr Cech. Pretty straightforward decision. I see he was absolutely furious with the decision against West Brom. But what can we do about it now? We move on. Going to stick with the back three. Um, and I believe that Lauren Koscielny is going to be out. He was injured against West Brom. And it doesn't look like he's going to be back for this game. So to begin with, we're going to start off with Mustafi. He's up and down, to be quite honest. One week good, one week bad. We need him to perform in this game. Alongside him, we're going to go with Callum Chambers. I think he's done really well the last couple of games. Very, very unlucky to give away the penalty against West Brom. Listen, it wasn't a penalty. It's as simple as that. The Mike Dean show, you bald prick. Alongside him, we're going to go with Matasaka. Simple reason, I don't think there's anyone else. On the right-hand side, we're going to go with Hector Bellerin. He's not performing at the moment, um, but there's no one challenging him for his place. We have no one else that can go there. So he's getting a free ride at the moment. Hector Bellerin's going to go there. In the left wing-back role, Kalazinak, he's injured. Nacho Monreal doesn't look like he's going to be back in time. So we're going to have to stick Maitland-Niles there. Not where I'd want him to play, but that's what we're going to have to deal with. So it's very, very simple. In the central midfield roles, we're going to start off with Granit Xhaka. Now, the last couple of games, I actually think he's played really well. Since he scored his goal against Liverpool, he seemed to have stepped up a bit. His performances have gone a little bit unnoticed, but no, he's doing all right at the moment. Alongside him, we're going to go with Jack Wilshere. Absolutely superb. Can't say no more about the guy. Um, direct, drives into the right areas. Um, and he tries creating things. It's none of the sideways stuff. He's the one that actually tries getting into the heart of the opposition's defence and, you know, creating things. Jack Wilshere goes there. Just in front, we're going to go with Meza Ozil. Now, we all know that apparently he's got a knee injury. He's going to be touch and go whether he's fit for this. But I'm going to start him. We need him. If he isn't playing, then I genuinely don't think that we're going to win this game. Um, so he has to be fit. Meza Ozil will go in there. Next up, we're going to go with Alexi Sanchez. Um, scoring a few goals of late. People saying, you know, he's just putting performances in um, to get his move in the window. I don't know what's going to happen. We're actually in January now. So every game Alexis plays could well be his last. I'm going to enjoy it while I can. It's as simple as that. Alexi Sanchez. Up front, we're going to go with Alexandra Lacazette. Needs a goal. Um, his all-round play has been really, really good lately. His link-up play. He was unlucky not to get on the score sheet a couple of times against West Brom. Um, but, yeah, he needs a goal now. Um, and he does seem to score against the big side. So, he's already scored against Manchester United. He's scored against Manchester City. So, it'd be nice if he can get one against Chelsea as well. So, that is my predicted 1-11. to Let me know in the comments section whether you agree or not with that predicted 1-11. to Let me know whether you would change anything or what you would go with. 
And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. See me after the game for the match day vlog. Hopefully I'm smiling. I'm not counting on anything though. Over to you lot now, Arsenal. I'm out of here.